Knights of the World International Pairs Final are brought to you by Vintuk Lager. The Peninha Golf Resort on Portugal's Algarve hosted the 20th edition of the World International Pairs Final. The course was built in 1966 and has hosted the Portuguese Open on many occasions, most recently in 2006. The likes of Sam Torrance, Paul Broadhurst and Miguel Angel Jimenez having won here in the past. If one thinks of, of where this all started um, five years ago, um, only five countries participating in the Namibian Lager Golf Championship. Um, and uh, now with only two pairs, you know, from South Africa or two countries from South Africa and Namibia, looking forward to, to really spreading this into Africa. And all hopes are there that we'll have um, seven countries next year, um, each sending their individual pairs out to this beautiful country and to this beautiful championship. So all all goes well for it being really a, a, a growing sport in Africa. And we'd like to be behind them with Winterklage all the way. Tremendous news for African golf that seven countries will be represented here in 2019 and it comes hot on the heels of the announcement that the Southern African organisers, African Sports Management, have acquired the worldwide rights to international pairs and are planning more events for amateur golfers. Belleville Golf Club members, brothers Hugo and Mornay Vermeulen, claimed the right to represent South Africa after an extensive process which featured close to 20,000 amateur golfers participating in 302 tournaments. A solid performance at the Vintok Lager International Pairs Final at Omea near Vintok saw the siblings book a place in the Portugal event. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, thank you to Vintok ASM. Um, it's been fantastic up to now. Um, all the experiences, the course, the hotel, yeah, so it's just amazing. For us, I just stole the Oaks from, from Jersey. We, both of us, did sport our whole life and now we're too old so golf is the next best thing to compete in as amateurs and and the friends that we made just today with the jersey oaks i think it's going to be friends for life and hopefully we will get draw with them tomorrow again because it was good fun the parade of nations is one of the highlights of the world international pairs after the practice round representatives from the 16 participating nations including south africa and namibia and from as far afield as the united states and the united arab emirates proudly displayed their flags in a ceremony supported by portimao the nearest city to benina with the official opening out of the way it was time for what some of these amateur golfers had traveled halfway around the world for to claim the coveted title as the world international pairs champions 46 was the score to beat. The second South African pair, Mark Angel and Larry Southwood, put in a great effort, but wasted a couple of point-scoring opportunities through missed putts. Two birdies were the highlights of the front nine for the Durban Country Club pair. They carded 20 points. The back nine, they did slightly better. Angel with two birdies and finishing with a par for 21 points on the back nine and a total of 41. Yeah, you know, we played with some guys from the UK and they were fantastic, yeah, and there was lots of camaraderie ship. I don't think it was much competition, it was more about um, chatting, um, finding, getting to know what they do, and um, no, it was really, really fantastic. After a tense and at times very competitive opening round, time to sit back and relax. A performance by a local dance group, a welcome introduction to local culture for the visiting golfers. The start of the second round and a reminder of what it is all about with a trophy on display. Sponsors representative Ian Stevenson on the tee to wish the three teams from Southern Africa good luck. This is the final round of the International Pairs World Final. And the first flight on the first tee, leading the competition, Team South Africa, Morne Vermolen, Hugo Vermolen. Upright. The Namibians, Bertus Damon and Joseph Martin again were a picture of consistency. When one player struggled, the other would come through and add valuable points. They dovetailed perfectly. Two birdies and a number of pass scores on the first nine helped the pair to score of 21 Stablefoot points. On the back nine, a similar pattern. And on the final hole, they had played themselves into a position where they could possibly win. Damon with a short putt for par and two points. It was only much later that he realized just how important the putt was. 
It was probably the most important putt in Damon's amateur golf career. The two points they managed on this hole gave the Namibians the most slender of victories over the overnight leaders Hugo and Mornay for Mullen. After a long, anxious wait, a double checky of the scores, the Namibians were declared the overall winners. After we realized we maybe won, before it get official, I was in 7 heaven. Yes, for myself also, I feel honored and great to be here. That's my first prize already. And to take the trophy is just a cherry on the cake, that's all. So I'm very happy. When we said we were going to take Winter Klagert onto the international stage, um, I didn't in my wildest dreams think that we'd be bringing um, Namibian golfers and actually coming to conquer the world. Um, so it just, it just goes to show what is possible. If you believe it, it, will, it, you know, it, it can be done. Um, an absolutely uh, amazing, amazing effort by the Namibian guys. And uh, it, just, it just, you know, it's so, it's so gratifying from a small um, country like Namibia to actually come out and conquer the world. Uh, just, as you say, a script couldn't have been written this good. Highlights of the World International Pairs Final were brought to you by Vintuk Lager.